lot of people think that saying they're going to go up and practice is just playing the drums, though. A lot of people get up, they play the drums, and they're not challenging themselves. They're just playing things that they know how to do already. That's called noodling. Um, you know, like that's... I, I know a lot of people do that, and they're just playing what they know how to do. And you know what? You're getting better at what you know how to do. That's great. You're already good at that. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We talking about practice, man. We talking about practice. We talking about practice. Real practice, and you should sound bad. You should not. You should sound like you can't play. And I make it a point that I sound like an amateur a lot of the time when I practice because if I'm working out a new independence pattern, or I'm working out some exercise, or I'm trying to microanalyze something that I'm not happy with, it, you know, you're not going to sound like you're ripping. You're going to sound like you're really working on something or breaking down a phrase and breaking down an exercise or really trying to compare two rates, especially when it's with polyrhythms, you know, a lot of the time that's just slow and painstaking. So that's the difference between really practicing and then just playing. And I think they're both important. I mean, you should play and express your ideas and develop new ideas. I, I do think you should do that some of the time, but I think that there's also a good portion of the time should be spent really practicing.